is joining us now for his insight into the selection and bracketing process. Chris Reynolds, chair of the NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Selection Committee. Uh, Chris, thank you for taking the time. Uh, your job is completed. I want to know how it went. You know, the whole season long, there was this shuffling going on, but the same basic teams at the top of the rung. How did you end up with Bama, Houston, Kansas, Purdue? Well, it was um, an interesting process, and it took a little while. Um, however, what I will say is this, um, those teams at the top, they perform consistently uh, throughout the year. And so we considered about six or seven teams uh, at the top, but at the end of the day, um, those four teams um, were the teams we selected. So Chris, not only as those four number one seeds, but you put the whole field in order one to 68. So you had Houston as your number two overall, Kansas as your number three overall. I respectfully would have had that order reversed. And this is significant, as you know, because that means Kansas is going to Las Vegas as opposed to Kansas City, which is <laughs> in the state of Kansas. So uh, can you just break this down? Kansas 17 and one quad one wins. Houston seven and one in quad one. But Kansas had the number one overall, excuse me, seven and two. Uh, Kansas had the number one overall strength of schedule compared to 9-6. to six. They both lost their conference finals. They both had injuries. Kansas didn't have their coach. Why Houston over Kansas? Well, when you look at Houston, uh, combined 15-2 and two in the quad 1-2 and two, uh, compared to Kansas 21-7 and seven in the quad 1-2. and two. And Houston, they were competitive in all their games that they lost, except for today. And we understand today they were out their best player. And so um, for that reason, uh, we kept Houston at number two. That's good. That's a good answer because that leads to my question, Chris. First, I always want to give you your props for playing in the Final Four, my man. So you, you put this together and you played in a Final Four. But the injuries on these teams, Marcus Sasser at Houston, you've got a coach, Bill Self. You don't know if he's going to play as you're going through, if he's going to be able to coach as you're going through the process. Jalen Clark at UCLA, how much... Does that affect seeding as you're talking about this? A great deal. And when you think about, as you mentioned, um, you have Texas, Tennessee, Virginia, UCLA, um, all had player availability issues. And also Coach Self also being out um, certainly is something that uh, the committee talked about um, throughout the course of the year. It certainly played a factor in seeding and selection in addition to Rutgers. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, you obviously talk about the injury circumstances with teams and players. Uh, you also tend to, ha you also usually have contingency brackets. Could you give us a sense of how many of those were in play as we came down to the stretch? Yeah, we had about four uh, brackets um, that we put together. Um, and so the committee did a great job of anticipating results. Um, and we looked at the games that took place today. And so um, we had to take into account results one way or the other. And so we had to have brackets to prepare for all those things. Because as you know, for example, the Big Ten championship game butts up to this show. Yep. And so if we don't have all those things prepared, then, um, then we'll find ourselves in trouble. Chris, it's always, I'm sure, the toughest cut is that first team out, which is Oklahoma State. Six quad one wins, 12 quad one losses, eighth overall strength of schedule. What did the Cowboys not do to get in this thing? Well, when you look at their resume, um, they had 18 opportunities in the quad one, and they won only six games. And they had opportunities in the non-conference uh, schedule to win some games to enhance their resume, and they fell a little short. Hey, Chris, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We'll see you somewhere along the road. If not, we'll see you in Houston at the Final Four.